Hello, uh, YouTube fans. Uh, I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've pretty much been uh, catching up on things such as and moving and, you know, just relaxing from trucking. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just want to catch up on a couple of things. Uh, I haven't been uh, recording because I've been, I took about a month off, you know, just to get my, uh, you know, I moved and uh, I moved and things and uh, I was looking for something else and uh, I was pretty much getting closer to it, but the economy, you know, with this coronavirus and stuff like that, things started to go sideways. But anyway, I'm 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 good because uh some of the you know uh money I was making out there, you know, I was putting it aside. You know, I was uh once taught by an older guy that you got to save for a rainy day. You know, uh pretty much a lot of Americans, uh, I don't know the percentage or anything that way, but a lot of people live uh, you know, check by check. You know, and if they do got anything extra, instead of putting something back, they pretty much just, uh, you know, spend it. You know, it's, it's, mom used to always say, uh, you know, the money is burning a hole in your pocket. In other words, you got to get rid of it. You just can't sit uh, while you have money. But anyway, uh, I'm just touching base on uh, what's going on in the trucking <clears throat> industry. Uh, me, you know, uh, I'm I'm okay, you know. I'm I'm okay with uh, you know uh, what's uh, I'm, I'm okay with my uh financial finance situation for right now, you know. But uh, you know, it's kind of like this: once you taking money out of the uh, out of your account and nothing's going in, you know, you start to see that decline, and you ask yourself, well. You know, I got to do something. So, <clears throat> anyway, I don't know, but I might have to get back over over the uh, road. Um, I will make another video, uh, another video about that. But uh, I was thinking about going back over the road, which some I don't want to do. No, it, it have you know it has it it has it down and up. Trucking have it ups and downs, should I say? But uh, <clears throat> I'm thinking about going back over. You know, I got some things situated and sat up where it's possible that I can be leaving in the next week or so. You know, uh, I'm still talking to my wife about the situation. So we really, we really don't, I really don't know. You know, I'm trying to get something where I can actually stay home with uh, my family. That's, you know, that's what I'd rather do. But doing this uh this this pandemic or whatever they call it, you know, things are not the same anymore. You know, uh, jobs are not hiring. A lot of trucking companies that are freeze, you know, but the company that I uh, used to work with, you know, they're willing to, you know, hire me back. You know, they they love me. They take care of me, you know. You know, it has its ups and downs, but, you know, I can still go back. Uh, other than that, I just been, you know, staying safe, staying inside. You know, I've been getting my exercise on. One of the reasons why uh, I came off because, uh, you know, I was a person that always been in shape. You know, I always took care of my health. If I ain't took care of nothing else, I always took care of my health. And, uh, you know, uh, I went to the doctor one day and they was telling me that my blood pressure was sky high. You know, so uh, I kind of, when that, when that happened, you know, I was kind of eating unhealthy, you know, a lot of fast food restaurants. And, you know, you just sitting there for hours and hours driving and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> you're sitting there for hours and hours driving and uh, you're not working out and you're not, you know, eating healthy. So your body starts to, you know, uh, decline. So when it came to my health, I said, you know what, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to take off, you know, and uh find something local to do. Um, one of the things I was doing before this, uh, one of the things I was doing, I was doing school bus, you know, and uh, school bus doesn't pay nearly as trucking, but I would say it should, 
you know, because uh, dealing with kids can be a job all by itself. Not, not only that, paying attention to, you know, the signs and the road to make sure you don't hit nobody or no one hit you. Same time, you're breaking up fights and you're dealing with parents. Because you have some parents out there that feel that they kid do no wrong. You know, they kid is 100%, you know, good, whatever. And, you know, at some point in life, we all think that, you know, even my, uh, even my kids, you know, I, you know, it was a time where I thought they didn't do no wrong until actually I catch them. And you're like, wow. You know, but I started doing school bus for a while and uh, I actually got attached to some of the kids. You know, I was running in the neighborhood and uh, <laughs> this one, I heard somebody call me, hey, bus driver. You know, I'm like, oh, bus driver, who call, who's calling me bus driver? But it was one of my, actually, it was one of my uh, good students, should I say. And, uh, you know, you kind of get attached to the kid. You pretty much, you're not doing it for the money. You're pretty much doing it for the, uh, you know, the, uh, the kids and the help that school bus driver need. But I would say that they need to, you know, need to jump that pay up, you know. You know, only thing I, only thing was, well, I, well, I don't say only thing was good about it, but it was a lot of good things about it that, uh, you know, uh, the kids, some of the kids, are, you know, you, you know, uh, are great. You actually started, you know, you, you know, you actually start to, uh, uh, you actually start to care for them like your own kid. You know, you get attached, like, like for your own kid. Uh, uh, and, and and me personally, I love kids. You know, uh, unfortunately, I got a situation going on, but you know, that's just that's just what it is. You know, you, some things you can do some about. Some things, some things you can do some about. Some things, some things you just you know you let it take its course. And and you pretty much uh you know you let it do what it do because some things are out of your hands pretty much uh, it's just the right word for it but some things are out of your hands so you pretty much let it run its course you know and uh let it do what it do you know you try to explain it when whenever you can explain it you know uh my dad I think he my dad my father he have like but nine or eight kids and you know you know we know we know them but we didn't. We was around him every day, but as you got older, we we came to a point where we understand and why. But you know, it took us, you know, it took us, it took a course, and now we we talk to him every day. But anyway, um, what I was getting to is, uh, yeah, school bus. I did school bus for a while, and it's kind of get a carry away there. But I did school bus for a while, and uh, I actually like it. But you know, they shut all the schools down, so now they're actually pushing me towards something else. You know, and this unemployment and this stimulus check thing, it doesn't pay. Uh, doesn't it, you know, unemployment doesn't pay well for crap. You know, that's you, know, you can't get no bills paid for uh, unemployment. So uh you know, it helps, but you can't get the bills paid. And uh the stimulus check came in, that was a blessing, you know. But I have to do something, you know. I'm the type of person I can't sit around and do nothing. I have to do something. You know, uh my kids, you know, they like daddy now. Well, my daughter should I say, my big boy's like Hey, Dad, you know, you need to go back on the road, you know, because, you know, they could run circles around their mom, you know, and my daughter, she, you know, she's the youngest, so, in the house, she's the youngest in the house, so, you know, she want Daddy there. It's Daddy there, then she got her protection. But uh, I was telling her, you know, Daddy might have to leave again and go back over the road. And, uh, you know, it's a decision that I might have to make. Take back off, but anyway, uh, what have y'all been doing? You know, um, what have y'all been doing? Uh, hope that you're staying safe. One of the things I was talking about getting into it, and I was talking to my wife about it. I'm thinking about owning my own truck. You know, I've been searching and searching and searching, but I'm thinking about buying a truck um, straight out. And uh, start my own business. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure on how how things are, you know, are going. And uh, you know, I'm not a hundred percent sure that what to do. But I've studied looking at a lot of older truckers and the ones that actually own their own business or had owned their own business. You know, I'm taking advice for a deal. You know, uh, I think. I'll be a good a good business owner when it comes down to trucking. 
I still have a lot of things to learn. Uh, but it was one of the things I was uh, thinking about, you know. So uh, hmm, maybe in the future that may happen. But uh, right now, I just been chilling, taking care of myself. Blood pressure going down, so it's going down because I've been running and jogging and eating healthy. You know, when you, when you got a wife that can actually cook, you know, uh, and you can jog in the neighborhood and work out, you know, your body get back to normal. But uh, anyway, uh, I decided to make this video and let everyone know that I'm okay. You know, for, for all the ones that are concerned. And, uh, you know, I'll make another video soon. Uh, whether I decide to go back over the road or not. You know, but so far, uh, I'm still out here. Still doing good. Uh, pray for all y'all. Hoping that everybody's safe. Um put them all uh, things is them you know if you go out in public put your mask on and your um, eyeglasses or whatever whatever it takes you know to uh, stop what is uh going on and, you know hope everything get back to normal soon until then catch you on the next one peace